on the eve of MVAA 2010, we've had a chance to see, well, a couple of really interesting new things and one or two really revolutionary things. Well, first of all, obviously the big news of the day is new airplanes. We've seen uh, the first descriptions of what's coming from Bombardier and Cessna. But one of the things that was particularly intriguing was the fact that Garmin is going up against big competition in the Part 25 arena through the G5000. Scheduled to take flight on board the Citation 10, and that's Citation TEN for a change rather than the former Citation X. This panel is going to be Garmin's first entry into a hotly contested market. Let's take a tour of the G5000 with Garmin's Tim Bangert and take a look at what the future of Part 25 cockpit displays looks like from the floor of MBAA 2010. Hi, my name is Tim Bangard, Garmin International, OEM Sales and Marketing, and we're proud today to introduce Garmin's latest entry uh, into the touchscreen world. It's, it's the G5000 for Part 25 crew operations. Some of the features of this system are, you can see the impressive screens. So here we have four screens that we see in this system. Cessna today launched the Citation 10 with G5000 with a th three screen system. Essentially, we can put as many screens into the cockpit for Part 25 as the real estate will allow. Some of the differences you see is with the displays, they're obviously WXGA widescreen format displays. You don't see any, any soft keys on the bottom. All functions, even on the multifunction display and primary flight displays, are done via our touchscreen controllers. You'll also notice we have four touchscreen controllers which is typical with a system like this. So uh, the pilot has the use of two and the co-pilot has the use of two touchscreen controllers as well. So basically anything that, uh, that you can interface to in part 25, we're able to do so. We have uh, new weather radar coming, new sensors coming for part 25 operations uh, with a higher level of, uh, of certification authority. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine and best avionics for the best value. Just to take you through a quick walkthrough. The touchscreen controllers, use of touchscreen technology, which is Garmin's latest technology that we introduced about a year ago at this show. Very simple and easy and intuitive to use. All the functions on the G5000s are done via the touchscreen controllers. If I want to change a frequency, I tap on the comm status bar, punch my numbers in, enter, and I change a frequency. If I want to view something on my display screen, I have uh, viewed traffic now on the split screen functionality. One key difference between the G5000 and the G3000 is that you, even the primary flight display can have split screen functionality as well. Really you get with this system six displays with four. So another function of this system is, uh, I'll just show you some direct twos where you've got a flight plan loaded. If I want to load the flight plan, I simply hit the waypoint identifiers and I can do so as well. We're able to show aircraft systems and synoptics on the displays. So we can show fuel, we can show de-icing, the environmentals, pretty much anything that the manufacturer wants to display, we can show on, uh, on the system. One of the key things that makes this system so unique is the wide and impressive display of synthetic vision that you see on the primary flight displays. So with synthetic vision technology and these large widescreen displays, the pilot and co-pilot will get a true picture of, of what's, what's outside the cockpit. Now, another moment of freedom from Sirius Aircraft. Freedom through safety. Perhaps the ultimate freedom is confidence, assurance, and peace of mind. We design it into every personal aircraft we build. It's the security that comes with knowing you're flying the plane with a parachute. The breakthrough concept that launched the Cirrus phenomenon. Another feature that will be installed uh, on the Citation 10 as well as uh, in Part 25 operations is electronic stability protection. 
which is, is uh, our electronic stability protection, was launched at Oshkosh in 2010. Again, yet another safety feature for Garmin. We can also load, as, as we can with, uh, with our other systems, a simple flight plan. You can change, change flight plans or insert waypoints as you need to do so with the flight plan. Very intuitive, very easy to do. And again, if I need to cancel or go back, I can do so. One of the unique features that we're able to display on the G5000 is a split screen functionality. Here we're showing our electronic charting capability, and here we have two different electronic procedures loaded. On the right I have a, an approach chart, and on the left I have an arrival procedure. So this allows the pilot uh, and co-pilot much more use of information available to them. You can see also we have the capability to display NEXRAD WXXM weather on the display and you can see right now uh, there's some weather over the west coast. A lot of information that the pilot can use at his or her fingertips. As far as reversionary mode, uh, the system is fully reversionary. In a normal operation, each controller will control the, each display, so the outboard controller will control the outboard PFD, that outboard controller will control the outboard PFD, and the two uh, controllers here will control the MFDs. In the event of an unusual reversionary mode, any controller can control any display. Also for Part 25 operations, since these are dedicated controllers, we'll have the uh, capability to uh, interface the CPDLC uh, communications for, uh, for overseas flight.